Yeah, and then I was like, so what do you mean I'm a demon? I'm not a demon. There's just a devil inside me. So I was, I was really confused. So, you know, they threw me out, literally. So I just went, you know what, screw it, and I blew up the chat. Um, hi there. Oh, uh, who are you? I'm Inconvenience. Yeah, you are. I mean, I was having a conversation just now, but like, what's your name? My name is Inconvenience. That is a horrible name. I mean, her name's Poppy. She has poppies literally growing out from around her head. But that's not a normal name. Who calls their kid Inconvenience? I don't honestly know. What are you? It's the mouth and like you're missing the eye. Most of your body features are just. I want to uh, assume that. Horns. I think a demon, maybe a devil. I, one of the two. No, no, no. I'm a devil slayer, so you must be a demon. Oh. You're definitely not uh, a devil. Yeah, probably a demon. Oh, wait, so who's the little person? I've been talking to them for like nearly an hour. Oh, that's Poppy. Uh, I quite literally gave them my life story within an hour. Ah. Hmm. Hi, Poppy. Yeah, uh, I should be speaking. One... It's like to find something. Uh, so, what you doing here? Oh, uh, I learned if I teleport to random places, I, I, I find cool stuff. I found the house and, well... Thought hey a house would be fun. But I stole your donut. Wait, we have we had donuts? You had donuts. Why is the fridge filled with potions? No idea. Where'd I put that? Hmm. Yeah. What are you looking for? So essentially Poppy over there is technically tied to a doll. Basically, you tell the doll some to do something, Poppy will do it. And, um, the doll's missing, and the door, door, you didn't break down the door, did you? No, it was already broken. Okay, so apparently someone stole the doll, and since Poppy hasn't kind of woken up yet, and, hold on, is there a layer of dust on Poppy? There are what? Yeah, there's a layer of dust on her. So... Yeah, they've... it... hmm. So apparently someone's put... taken the doll and put her into a sleep coma thing, I guess. Huh. You know, I've um, been meeting weird people. First I met a demon that can change reality, now a person who's tied to a doll and... Whatever you are. Wait. I think you're a, you're a literal demon. The other guy wasn't a demon, but he looked like one. So I called him one. I'm just going to go off a whim and ask, is he red and black too? Yeah, he was red and black. His name was... Az Azerath? Az that, yeah, Azerath, yep. Oh, uh, that that makes sense. I hit him with a lightning bolt and he just kind of, you know... Like, uh, like I went, you... Oh. I did that, basically. And, uh... They didn't really move. Oh. Yeah, I kind of like that. I don't know why him and I get. I don't know if you have you met a guy who sort of like has black horns and sort of like a void demon slayer. I think basically dark magic. I guess I'm not entirely sure. Uh, no, I don't think I. Have. Uh, okay. Um, I've been back in town for about maybe two days. Yeah. I lose count. I'm get wait wait. You know, some stuff is starting to make sense now. Why? Hmm. So apparently, the dude I just mentioned has apparently been here, so I'm assuming he took the doll. So, um, hmm. Well, can't wake her up without the doll. And, or, well, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I also, mean, where the pixies. If I'm being fully honest, yeah. Like, it's a child who can't move without a doll. Mm -hmm. 
I'd want to kill myself if I couldn't move. Should I kill it? Uh, no, technically she's unconscious. So should I kill it? No. Can I kill it? No. What if I say please? No. I mean, Fine. you can kill Noros. He has the doll, technically. Who's Noros? Uh, guy with, I guess, I think white hair may change. I, mean, I didn't really pay attention to his other form. He's essentially a mixture of a dragon slayer and a, it's either a demon or a devil slayer. Basically, his magic is, I believe, lightning and void. I don't know what void is. I guess it's just technically darkness magic. Those are two very different magic. Yeah, I don't know why either. I'm guessing he's just a literal storm cloud. And um, uh, I, don't, I don't know why don't there's think... ice here. Yeah, I was wondering that myself, I'll be honest. Yeah, um... Hmm. I would say it leaves a trail, but it kind of just stopped. Yeah. Well, if it was something made of ice, it probably melted. Hmm. And I suppose there's a cannon in your house. I just noticed. Yeah, I don't know where some of this stuff appeared. The cannon just showed up one day. And then the table with the pig. I don't know if the pig's good. Like, it hasn't smelled, so I'm assuming it's not real. And... I guess her dolls are Who sold her books? Like, she had two more books that, that are basically now gone. Like, stuff has disappeared and stuff has reappeared. Or stuff that isn't supposed to be here has appeared. This is getting weird. Also, don't touch the table. That's apparently cursed from what the builders told me. Apparently, you face yeah. through the floor if you, touch the, if you sit on the pillows. I mean, I already do that. True. Um. Very convenient. I like doing it. It annoys people sometimes, so I find it funny. <laughs> well, what magic do you have? Technically plant, but I've used up most of my magic. Technically what? Technically I've used up most of my magic just trying to get here. I basically just walked the entire way. So, yeah. Hmm. Well, I better get to trying to find them, or at least trying to I guess get the doll back. Most I can do is wait. You're free to stay here if you want. Oh, well, you didn't have a choice. I'm stealing more food. Uh, fair. Right. I'm gonna have a conversation with the unconscious child. I won't kill you. Yet. Alright. So. Hello there. Uh. Uh, uh, what? There's. But. But there's. This. And Why are you. Magic. So can I kill this one? No. Oh, I don't think we have any fun around here. I mean, you're free, free to kill other people. Just don't kill this one. What? Like you could have kill, you could kill the demon that just left. Yeah, but like that would have been easy. They don't have any magic. They're kind of just there. True. True. No. I want something that has a challenge. <laughs> but. Technically speaking, killing the child would have been easy since technically they're knocked out. Again, I want a challenge. Fair, fair. Oh, the, the only reason I say that one is because it's like squishy, and I think if I like, if I put my hand around its head hard enough, it might suffocate. Fair again. Um. Hey, what? What do you mean? Oh. So you want me to... Can we just not transform this time and do what we did last time? Okay, that's fine. Okay, uh, don't get freaked out. Uh, I just have someone that wants to talk to you. Alright. Oh. I'm 
going to pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do that again. Three, two, one. Uh, don't let this, don't let this freak you out too much. Um, I have a friend that wants to just kind of talk real quick. <coughs> Why, hello there. Hi. Hmm. You're all brain. What exactly are you? I'm guessing you're the devil that he made the deal with. What gave, gave it away? The voice? Or I the boy? technically control both Inconvenience and Poppy over there. And technically I can hear whatever Poppy hears. So, so I'm going to assume that means it's the boy. Pretty much. Okay. Oh, yeah. So. Hmm. So you're just a like an astral projector. Well, technically not of the child, but I'm technically the astral projection of the demon the child made a contract with in their form. Because technically speaking, I don't have enough contracts in this realm to be able to come here. Hmm. So I gotta gain enough power in order to make more contracts. Yeah, I don't know what those are either. They just kind of appeared after the raven showed up. You are a demon, is what I'm understanding from yep. this. Yep, Lady Rose Thorn. Okay then, but didn't the other demon make contact with the inconvenience that it called itself? Oh, that's just one of my underlings. Ah. I lost a bet. I guess you and me have a lot in common then. You both have to deal with idiots. <laughs> yeah, but that one's cannon fodder. Like, Inconvenience is literal cannon fodder. Mine is just temporary. Yeah. I can put it. Well, I say that's been temporary for a couple of years now. I'm hoping for the day to happen where I can finally take control of the body, but until then, I have to deal with its stupidity. Yep. Yeah. I'm guessing you met Azeroth? Strange one. Yeah. I'll be honest. I wanted to kill him. I wouldn't have suggested that. Apparently he's powerful enough to scare a technical person who's a dragon and demon slayer. And apparent so you remember Noros, the person I mentioned the person that they mentioned earlier, right? Yeah. I know the name. He was technically the first human. From my understanding. I could still fight him. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but the best demon. Oh, True, true. Mm. but well, I do careful. want to warn you. Granted, I'm only letting convenient to be part of that group so I can have ears in it. But there is a group of powerful people wanting to cause a little bit of destruction, will you? Ah, oh, yes, I've heard of them. Uh, the monarchs? I'm so yes. Sadly, this body wasn't smart enough to get into any evil organizations. So we join the next best thing the guild. Which guild? The Darkies. Ooh. Very strange name, I don't understand it. Yeah. So, if you want to try and join the Monarchs, try talking to, uh, I believe, Apex. I believe he should be at Nightmare Mist most of the time. Okay. Oh. Try to convince Jack to meet this fellow. So. I wouldn't suggest just mentioning me yet, since technically no one but you knows I exist yet. Oh, what makes me so special? Well, for starters, everyone else has a little agenda. Usually destruction. I usually just cause chaos. Understandable. You and me have very similar... Yes. I guess would be the best way to put it. 
though the monarchs like all have. Havoc yeah, and for me, the lost cause I love either causing chaos for power or just for a simple fact of chaos. I mean, every reason, a valid reason, as long as there's a reason. True, true. Though, I should just tell you this little heads up. Apex is technically, from what I've seen, a god the spirit, spirit god possessing a human. So it's a god? Technically, yes, but the human hasn't been out in a while. Oh, so ideally I want to be. Pretty much, so you might want to talk to him. Uh, beware if you go to the Wyvern Tavern again. I suggest not letting him sense that you are a... Well, if you... Devil? He, yeah, at least not that you're there, but sort of like show off the magic. Reason being is he's one of the good God Slayers. Oh! So far, he's tried to Pretty much. Fair warning, hmm. if you see a girl with wolf ears, and I think it's either blue or black here, I can't really tell sometimes, and a black and white bunny named Stella, that's a time wizard. That's a was. A time wizard. She can essentially partially uh, control time. Okay! Uh... But in the Monarchs, there is another person who you probably haven't met yet. It would happen to be Alex. Al they, their name starts with A, that much I know. And essentially, the reason why I bring them up is they're lying about what type of magic they have. They're a reflection wizard. They're a what wizard? Essentially, they take their mat. They have crystals in their hand. And the more crystals that appear on their body, the more magic they can store. They can, they either need to witness or be attacked with the magic in order to cast the magic. Essentially what you do to them, they do to you. Oh, that's... Uh... So if you want to try and... So if you ever want to fight her, my suggestion is either a quick knockout or the smallest damage you can do in the most annoying places ever. In other words, a one-hit wonder, as the kids call it nowadays. Pretty much. Okay then, well... Though I didn't notice something with her magic. You can only copy the first part of a spell. Like, say a spell has two parts, like, you summon a crystal. She can summon a crystal, but it's just there. But say yours explodes for whatever reason, her crystal cannot explode. Okay. Well then, that also gives me a few ideas that I'd like to do. Right. Oh, and if you ever want to learn some magic, or new magic, swing by the Wildfire Guild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you just say learn new magic? Oh, I, already, I don't need any new magic. Oh, darling, no, I do not. Fair, oh, that's fair. hilarious. But you wouldn't happen to be missing any artifacts, would you? I don't have any artifacts at the moment. Uh, well, apparently a couple of god slayers, from what I've heard, or a couple of people, are missing theirs. So it might be a good idea to keep the lookout. If I find anything, I'll be sure to inform you. Yeah. Now, I think I'm going to do both of a favor and get this cretin of a body out of your hair. Alright. Uh, oh. See you later. See you later. Though, one last warning. Well, if you ever need a place to run to, wildfire's almost entirely deserted, and I'm not talking the old one, I'm talking the new one. Almost no one's there anymore. So feel free to swing by. No one will really notice. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Ta-ta!